Hey everybody, happy Halloween, everyone. Uh, welcome back to the Pink Hoodie Podcast. How are you guys doing today? It's a lovely, lovely day outside. Um, you guys having a good Halloween weekend? You guys go out, celebrate Hallow's Eve. I wasn't even like allowed to celebrate Halloween as a kid. I was like homeschool adjacent because my parents were like, religious as fuck but uh yeah hope you guys are having fun dressing up like sluts i'm gonna dress up like a slut tomorrow i'm excited i got this like yogi bear costume because i was volunteering on meals only well i wasn't volunteering i had to i had to um (laughs) volunteered for community service um because i may or may not have attacked a cop while I was on mushrooms and uh and they someone like brought in like a yogi bear um costume and they were like hey Tyler if you like wear it like you can have it and uh like I was like the youngest one there by far like everyone else was like in their 40s and then I uh I wore it went to the bathroom and changed and it looks ridiculous on me, but uh, it was fun. And uh, now I have a fucking Yogi Bear costume, so that's exciting. <laughs> um, and then I wore it uh, the rest of the day, and uh, went grub hubbing in it. That was that was fun. I was in a, a Fud Ruckers, and uh, this like young boy like he had to like restrain himself from like hugging me. He was like doggy, and I was like kid it's a fucking it's a fucking bear i didn't say that but uh <laughs> and that was that was funny seeing him excited about i think he thought i was scooby-doo um it does kind of look like a scooby-doo costume scooby-doo is way cooler than yogi bear in my opinion um but yeah <laughs> um so what's what's been going on uh i went to church today for the first time that was weird in like five years I went to a gay church. <laughs> it was a, a church that's cool with like gay people and like very like progressive, which which I like. My brother would have fucking hated this church. Like uh they had a black lady speak, a black reverend, and my brother would not have had that. Oh my god. He's a he's very uh conservative Christian. I don't know. I don't, I don't fuck with conservative Jesus. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you guys do, but uh, he's not my cup of tea. But it was fun. Eh, I wouldn't say fun, but it was. Everyone was kind and nice. That was that was cool. Definitely not as judgmental as any any place I've been to before, which is cool. Yeah, I don't. I don't really know what I believe which is i want to like believe in something but like it's hard to believe in shit nowadays i feel like with like the internet speaking of conservative jesus um conservative jesus uh kanye west has been in the news um oh god he's been a last episode i called him a genius but that was before i heard him say all that stuff about Jewish people, I don't know, I I think I've reached the point where, like, I can't uh, defend Kanye anymore as an artist, which sucks, but I'm still gonna listen to his music, but, um, as a person, I can't really, like, get behind him, uh, anymore, yeah, I don't know, but I wish him well, <laughs> I hope he figures this shit out, um, it's also like hard to like for me to personally like criticize him because he has like mental, mental illness issues and like I do too, but like not the same sort of thing. So I'm always like slow to um, talk shit about people with mental illness because it's rough out there, guys. But oh yeah, I was talking about Grubhub earlier. Um, so I work Grubhub because I don't have a real job. Um, one time I was Grubhubbing and uh, 
this like manager at a pizza hut was like let me ask you something do they call you grubbers <laughs> and i was like no nah, they call us losers um i don't know what to tell you but uh yeah i need to get a new fucking job um i've just been destroying my car with all these with like the gas prices going up i just i probably put in like uh probably close to like eight grand on like the two cars that I've had and I bought them for like less than that so I don't know oh yeah uh, my cousin is getting married that's gonna be exciting um he's Jewish and he's in the Israeli army right now and he's coming back next month to uh get married he's 21 I think I think he should wait to <laughs> to get married um well, that's just me. I'm happy for him, though. Shout out to Michael. Um, but yeah. This is going to be a short-ass episode. What is it, six minutes? Oh, my God. What else should I talk about? Um, I'm going to have some, some guests back on, so it's not just me rambling for, like, eight minutes. But uh, I hope you guys have a safe Halloween and uh, get lots of candy. Um, without fentanyl in it, I don't think, I feel like that doesn't actually happen, I don't feel like, I don't know, people, I don't know, I don't think that's a problem, uh, people putting in fentanyl and candy, I don't know, if I was, I feel like if I had kids, I would not be worried about fentanyl and candy, um, it's so, like, weird, like, having, like, People that, like, I went to, like, high school with and college with. They're just, like, having, like, babies nowadays. Like, now. Which is crazy. Because, like, if I had a kid right now, that kid would be so fucked up. He'd have, like, a great childhood, I feel like. Like, he'd have a lot of fun. But, like, I feel like um, his father would be ill-equipped to to raise a child at this stage of his life. Especially on a Grubhub salary. Um, but I was trying to write this like bit about like uh, how like if they made a movie about like a Grubhub driver it would just be like a very like shitty like remake of like Taxi Driver but instead of like him like killing like pimps at the end of the movie it's just like him like blowing his brains out after he steals some Chinese food I don't know that's I don't know if that has legs or not but uh but yeah anyway thank you guys for listening to this shitty podcast and uh i hope you have a great day oh yeah i was gonna call this never mind i'm not done yet (laughs) um i was gonna call this episode grubhub nightmares um because uh i've had some like weird experiences working grubhub which is which has been fun like sometimes like dogs will like chase you um that's kind of funny though because i'm like I'm, like, big, and I'm not that scared of dogs. Like, I'm not scared of dogs at all. But, and at one time, I was in Strasbourg, uh, PA, and uh, I delivered this, like, right out of the, yeah, right in the middle of nowhere, and there was this, like, goat um, in, like, a fenced-in area. just, like, ran up to me. It was like, bah! as I dropped off some, like, Sonic... And it made me, like, laugh really hard because I'm pretty sure I was stoned uh, when it happened. Um, I used to be so bad. I used to, like, smoke, like, joints as I was, like, uh, driving, you know? Which is, like, a horrible, stupid idea because I could get arrested or crash my car. And, uh, yeah. I, I told some people in, like, rehab about that, how I used to, like, like smoke weed and, like, uh, drive doing grub up there, and they, like, called me. They're like, ooh, Tyler, you're a wild man. I was like, oh, my God. That was funny. But, uh, now I'm a lot less of a wild man nowadays. Ugh, being sober sucks. No, it's, it's, it's chill. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> um... One time, I uh, delivered 
uh, four pierogies to this guy, and I would drive 45 minutes to his house, and he lived in, like, a trailer, and, uh, it was, like, in the middle of nowhere, very, very sketchy, and, uh, I had to, like, walk, like, like, 600 feet, probably, from the road to his trailer, and I thought I was gonna get murdered, and then he opens his, like, trailer door, and he's like, oh, thanks, man, and, uh, it was, like, in the middle of, like, it's probably like 11 o'clock at night, and uh, I was like worried that he was either gonna try to like shoot me or uh, try to do something sexual to me. And uh, he didn't even offer to blow me, and uh, I was kind of disappointed by that. <laughs> nah, but uh, yeah, that was that was a funny experience. But yeah, anyway, yeah, I think I'm done. But uh. Thank you guys for listening, and have a great day. Toodaloo.